Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to Large Hadron Collider, LHC, consider the following statements. 1. It's the world's largest science experiment. 2. Built by the US. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC. 3. The LHC typically uses protons, which are made up of quarks and gluons. It energizes the protons by accelerating them through a narrow circular pipe that is 27 kilometers long. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is B. A hadron is a subatomic particle made up of smaller particles. The LHC typically uses protons, which are made up of quarks and gluons. It energizes the protons by accelerating them through a narrow circular pipe that is 27 kilometers long. Built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. Question 2 with reference to parliamentary committees, consider the following statements. One committees go into the details of a specific piece of legislation, analyze the impact it may have on governance indicators, and then make their recommendations. Two committee reports and recommendations are binding on the government. Three business advisory committee prepares the entire schedule of both houses when parliament is in session. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. Even though committee reports aren't binding on the government, it helps the legislature ensure oversight of the executive. Question 3 with reference to the National Credit Framework, NCRF, consider the following statements. 1. It has been drafted by an 11-member committee headed by National Council of Vocational Education and Training, NCVT, Chairperson Prof. Dinesh Prasad Saklini. 2. It is a meta-framework to seamlessly integrate the credits earned through school education, higher education, and vocational and skill education. 3. This would function as a broad enabling framework for all regulatory organizations and universities, including institutions of national importance. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is D. It has been drafted by an 11-member committee headed by National Council of Vocational Education and Training, NCVT, Chairperson Nirmaljeet Singh Kalsi. It is a meta-framework to seamlessly integrate the credits earned through school education, higher education, and vocational and skill education. This meta-framework consists of three verticals as National School Education Qualification Framework, NSEQF, National Higher Education Qualification Framework, NHEC, and National Skills Qualification Framework, NSQF. Question 4. What is CPI-based inflation or retail inflation? 1. The CPI tracks the change in retail prices of goods and services which households purchase for their daily consumption. 2. CPI also helps understand the real value of salaries, wages, and pensions, the purchasing power of the nation's currency, and regulating rates. 3. CPI is used as a macroeconomic indicator of inflation, as a tool by the central bank and government for inflation targeting and for inspecting price stability, and as a deflator in the national accounts. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. 
The CPI monitors retail prices at a certain level for a particular commodity, the price movement of goods and services at rural, urban, and all India levels. The change in the price index over a period of time is referred to as CPI-based inflation or retail inflation. CPI, one of the most important statistics to ascertain economic health, is generally based on the weighted average of the prices of commodities. It basically gives an idea of the cost of the standard of living. CPI formula price of the basket in current period price of the basket in base period x100 question 5 with reference to dabba trading consider the following statements one dabba box trading refers to informal trading that takes place outside the purview of the stock exchanges to the primary purpose of such trades is to stay outside the purview of the regulatory mechanism and thus Transactions are facilitated using cash and the mechanism is operated using unrecognized software terminals. 3. They would have to pay only the Commodity Transaction Tax CTT, or the Securities Transaction Tax STT, on their transactions but no income tax. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2, and 3. D. 3 only. Answer is A. They would not have to pay the Commodity Transaction Tax, CTT, or the Securities Transaction Tax, STT, on their transactions. Since there are no proper records of income or gain, it helps Dabba traders escape taxation. They would not have to pay the Commodity Transaction Tax, CTT, or the Securities Transaction Tax STT, on their transactions. The use of cash also means that they are outside the purview of the formal banking system. All of it combined results in a loss to the government exchequer. In Dabba trading, the primary risk entails the possibility that the broker defaults in paying the investor or the entity becomes insolvent or bankrupt. Being outside the regulatory purview implies that investors are without formal provisions for investor protection, dispute resolution mechanisms, and grievance redressal mechanisms that are available within an exchange. Since all activities are facilitated using cash and without any auditable records, it could potentially encourage the growth of black money alongside perpetuating a parallel economy. This could potentially translate to risks entailing money laundering and criminal activities. Question 6. Consider the following statements about Kurmi. 1. Kurmi is traditionally a non-elite tiller caste in the lower Gangetic plain of India, especially in southern regions of Avad, eastern Uttar Pradesh, and parts of Bihar. 2. The Kurmis came to be known for their exceptional work ethic, superior tillage and manuring, and gender-neutral culture, bringing praise from Mughal and British administrators alike. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 Answer is C. A five-day agitation last week by the Kurmi community in West Bengal for inclusion in the scheduled tribes, sent, list and an incident in Balurghat in North Bengal. The Kurmis are wrecked as other backward class, OBC, want to be recognized as a scheduled tribe, sent, community and want their Kurmali language to be included in the eighth schedule of the constitution. Question 7. Consider the following statements about the Jaliamwala Bagh massacre. 1. A.M. Large, peaceful crowd had gathered at the Jaliamwala Bagh in Amritsar to protest the Rolat Act and the arrest of pro-independence activists Safuddin Kichlu and Satyapal. 2. Michael Odwire, the officer to order martial law, was later assassinated in 1940 in his retirement by Sardar Udham Singh an Indian man who was present at Jaliamwala Bagh and escaped the atrocities. 3. The Woods Committee, set up to investigate, 
condemned the incident but did not impose any punishment on Dyer. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is A. The Hunter Committee, set up to investigate, condemned the incident but did not impose any punishment on Dyer. The Jalyamwala Bagh massacre, also known as the Amritsar massacre, took place on 13th April 1919. Question 8. Consider the following statements about Bihu dance. One Bihu dance is a traditional folk dance performed especially during Bohag Bihu or Rungali Bihu, the spring festival of Assam that marks the beginning of the Assamese New Year. Two performed in a group, the Bihu dancers are usually young men and women and the dancing style is characterized by brisk steps and rapid hand movements. Three, the traditional costume of dancers is colorful and centered around the red color theme, signifying joy and vigor. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. The Bihu performance set to world records. One for the largest traditional dance and the second record was for the largest musical instrument group. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.